Well, Lenny, a game that very much had everything. Uh, can you digest that one for us? Yeah, I mean, it was... Uh, first of all, you've got to say that Solihull Moors, I mean, they're a good attacking side. You know, they've got some very good attacking players, so it's a big win for us that, you know. It doesn't surprise me that they scored a goal or two. You know, scored six last week and, you know, one or two of their attacking players are probably better than this league. So all, all that considered, we're delighted, but we also carry some serious attacking threats, which we, uh, which we proved today. But the most important thing of all is that you couldn't have envisaged that within coming out at half time two and up, you're going to be three, two down within about 10 minutes. So the spirit, we never say die, the desire to bounce back. And obviously it helped equalising as quickly as we did. You've mentioned the, the words never say die there, obviously, your mentality that's ingrained in the club. How important was that today? You know, we, we saw that throughout, throughout the game, especially in the second half. Vital, because if you haven't got that, you're going to lose, because they can punish you. If, you, if, you, if you're not at it, they're going to punish you. And even though we played very well as a team, you know, they still punished us. But uh, fortunately for us, we had enough attacking threats, enough spirit, enough organisation, enough, enough of all the qualities you need, determination most of all, to to turn it round. You know, not easy, but as I say, there were some very, very good performances from, from players today. So many factors behind today, you know, the weather, seven goals, obviously change of referees and, and whatnot. Was the most important thing coming to a place like Solihull, you know, a hard place to come, was the most important thing just to win? If you're serious about mounting a playoff challenge, which is what I said when I first took over, then, OK, you may not, you can't come here and get beat 4-0, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't, you're never going to get anywhere. Uh, now, no, I've challenged the players, I've got to do it again on Tuesday. Then we can start looking up instead of wallowing along in the middle of the table, um, not doing anything either way. Do you feel as though this performance you know, might have been coming, the win might have been coming after you know, some decent displays of the last few weeks? You'd like to think so, but if you'd, have, if you'd have asked me, I would never in a million years have envisaged the win coming in that manner. I'm delighted it did, obviously, and I'm delighted for the spirit they showed and the attack and intent. But if you'd have said it was going to be 4-3, well, who would have guessed that? But in the end, you just never know with football. you just got to respond to what happens on the pitch. And to be fair, the players did that very well. Yeah, and it was chance after chance. Probably could have been more than four. Yeah, the likes could, of yeah. Luke Charman, I think he got three assists today. Joe Gray scored two. Um, you know, really used the, the flanks today as well. Yeah, we did. I mean, we thought, you know, the, the way they set up, the space was down the side and we, we did that pretty well throughout the game. Um, they've got, you know, they have their threats and we tried to take advantage of how they played and, you know, with those counter attacks down the side and obviously we did it very well and with a bit of luck we might have had more. Fantastic to see Jack Hunter getting 75 minutes under his yes. belt. Gary Medine on the bench as well. Yes. Squad's coming, you know, a bit more stronger. Yeah, we're going to need it as well because we've got now, I mean, you know, Sloggy, unfortunately, he's unlucky that, you know, he's gone on for five minutes and he's got injured again, you know, so I don't know how long that's going to be. So we've got that to cope with. So, you know, we might not look as comfortable in terms of numbers on Tuesday as, as we did today, but that's life. We'll have to get on with it. Kazenga Lawalawa dropping out the squad. Is there any yeah. update? He's just a groin problem. I don't think it's too serious. I'm hopeful he'll be available on Tuesday. But he had a little problem with his groin. And, and, um, you if you don't train Thursday, um, you can't play Saturday. I can't, you know, I can't be taking too many chances with the uh, with people with injuries. But in any event, he wasn't fit. Whether you know Thursday, Friday, he's not fit. But hopefully, he will be by the middle of next week. And Dodsey, of course, suspended. Yeah, Nathan sure. Sharon slotting into the right back role, which he's he done well. on Saturday. Yeah. Um, is that something you see going forward for Shez? Yeah, he's going to, yeah. I mean, unless there's anything dramatic happens. Um, I mean, young Louis, don't forget him. He can, he can step in he, if needs be. But Shez will, will play there, probably, until Dodsey gets back. And then Dodsey will have to get himself back in the team. But that's a little way down the road yet. So we'll have to say, but I'm, I'm well pleased with the Chelsea's performances at right back and it will continue on Tuesday. And just finish things off on that Tuesday game against Fail Bay. We've had a postponed game today. Um, what are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, we, I mean, I don't know whether that's going to help them or hinder them. I don't know. It'd be good to see Kevin again, to be fair. Um, we've got to follow up. You know, if you go one step forward, one step back, you're never going to get there. So we've got to follow it up, same application, same work, same attacking threat, and hopefully not let so many goals in. And then we'll see where we are after that.